take a look at these two pairs of jeans. The holes, loose threads. The whisker pattern, the high-low effect. Wash marks, creases. The crack marks. All the things that make a vintage pair of jeans vintage. One was worn for decades by a human. The other was broken in in 90 seconds by a laser. Can you tell them apart? Bart Seitz can. He works on the team that created them, and 18 months ago, they stumbled onto something that's going to fundamentally change the way Levi's makes jeans. Spoiler alert, it's lasers. I think the blue jean is one of the greatest ways for people to exercise self-expression. Wash effects like this were probably created originally because someone's mom put too many jeans in the washing machine the first time. Denim is in Bart's blood. I've been working with jeans for 30 years. <laughs> he started at a family-run business in Kentucky and now is in charge of Levi's Eureka Lab in San Francisco an experimental team working on new ways to design and manufacture jeans. These are Bart's fingernails. Um, my nails are blue. That's not nail polish, it's indigo dye. It's, it's like our blood. We do color prototyping with it. It gets under your nail beds and stays for weeks. Um, it's just part of who we are. 30 years ago, jeans were different. They came in three shades, dark, medium, and light. Today, jeans come in thousands of looks, and their draw, arguably their main draw, is not the denim itself, but how it ages. Bart and his team go to extraordinary lengths to replicate this. They bake them, they sand them, they wash them, and scrunch them up and put them in a sock, then wash them again. Working with denim is like a great mix of creativity and science. One of their go-to tools in this process has been a chemical called potassium permanganate, which is great for lightening jeans and giving them that perfectly broken in look, but not so great for the environment and for workers. Because of that, Levi's decided to stop using the chemical about 18 months ago and tasked Bart and his team with finding an alternative. We had this oh shit moment. We noticed that we were able to achieve the whiteness that we gained from potassium permanganate by using the laser, but it had to be on a garment that was already washed. Today, they have the process, called FLX, or future-led execution, down to a science. They photograph a vintage pair of jeans, replicate the design digitally, program it into a laser, and they watch as a brand new vintage jean is created right in front of them. Just like that, a vintage look that once took years to create and takes about 30 minutes to replicate by hand now it takes 90 seconds. And by 2020, will be implemented in all of Levi's supplier factories for mass production. Look at these two pairs of jeans again. If you know that one was laser aged, does that make it less authentic? Bart says no, because to him and to Levi's, authenticity isn't about the process. It's all about the look. The original intent of finishing is to create a version of a vintage jean that is envisioned by our designers. Whether we get there through chaining together highly repetitive manual applications and chemical formulations, or replicating that with a 90 second laser marking, I think it's our obligation to do that. And that philosophy has already served Levi's pretty well. We've been buying jeans that have been pre-aged before we ever put them on for decades. Do we actually care how they got that way? <laughs> <laughs>